7.0 classifying quadrilaterals introduction. So this is the hierarchy of quadrilaterals. So we are specifically talking about the four-sided figures. The prefix quad stands for four. So a quadrilateral is any four-sided figure. This is the most generalized name for a four-sided figure. So each of these figures underneath are considered quadrilaterals. So a rectangle is a quadrilateral. A rhombus is a quadrilateral. A square is a quadrilateral. So all of these fit underneath this heading of quadrilateral. This is kind of the, the big umbrella up at the top. And then each of the other quadrilaterals fall into different categories based on different features. The first separation of features has to do with whether or not sides are parallel. So the, we'll start over here with trapezoid. Trapezoid is one set, whoops, set of parallel sides. So it's only got one set of parallel sides. There's two different types of, of trapezoids that we'll talk about. The one that you're probably most familiar with looks kind of like this. Where those two sides are parallel, we use arrows to show parallel sides. This is called an isosceles trapezoid. The reason it's called an isosceles trapezoid is because these two legs are congruent to each other. There is such a thing as a general trapezoid. It looks kind of like this. Where uh, one side, you could even make it a right angle right there, but it wouldn't be like the isosceles trapezoid where those two opposite sides are not parallel to each other. So trapezoid was one set of parallel sides. Then you can split into a category of two sets of parallel. In general, I, I like to think about a parallelogram as a knocked over or pushed to the side rectangle where these two sides are parallel and these two sides are parallel. This is a general parallelogram. And yes, these figures underneath parallelogram are parallelograms. So a rectangle is a parallelogram. A rhombus is a parallelogram. A square is a parallelogram. So each of these below get the characteristics of above. So a rectangle is a parallelogram and a quadrilateral. A rhombus is a parallelogram and a quadrilateral. So then underneath parallelogram, it splits into two features. So if you're a parallelogram, but say you stand that parallelogram upright and make all of the angles 90 degrees. So if you stand it upright and make all the corners 90 degrees, you create a rectangle. That's called equiangular. So a rectangle is an equiangular parallelogram. So then this is the special feature of that. And then what if you um, make the sides of this parallelogram the same length? So if I make it look kind of like this or a knocked over square, that is a rhombus. It's called equilateral. It's an equilateral parallelogram. So rather than just being parallel, it's now the same length. So this is the knocked over square. And then finally, if you combine these two features, so if all the corners are 90 degrees and all the sides are the same length, then you get what's called a square. Our favorite friend, it would be the most specific parallelogram that you can create. So a square is a rectangle and a square is a rhombus, but it's got both features, which is why we call it a square. If it has both features, if it's equiangular and equilateral, it's called a regular figure. It means that all the angles and all the sides are the same. All the angles are the same, all the sides are the same. So that was one set of parallel sides, two sets of parallel sides, and now our last category would be no parallel sides in the world of parallelogram. And it's called a kite. 
A uh, feature of a kite is that it has two pairs of congruent sides, not parallel sides, but congruent sides. And typically we like to draw our kites kind of like this, where two sets of parallel sides create a kite. Thank you.